outside profile and the pockets rough, it's time for the last roughing operation and finishing of our Inconel 718 part. We're using Mastercam's Swarf Milling Toolpath to rough the remaining material on the tapered walls of the pockets. And just like in the previous videos of this part, at the end of this video, I'll show you exactly how I made this toolpath in Mastercam. Path is great because it keeps the side of the tool tangent with the wall of the features you're machining, just like if you were machining a vertical wall on a three axis machine. This allows you to use the full length of cut of your end mill, so instead of having to surface mill all the way down a tapered wall with a small step down, you can machine the walls with one axial depth pass. This not only drastically reduces recycle time, it gives a better surface finish without any marks from stepping down. To make this soil path, we'll go to multi-axis and swarf milling. Select our tool, go to cut pattern, and for swarf geometries, we're going to select all the pockets. Now we really only need the walls, so let's deselect the floor and hold the control button and hit this fillet right here. That's going to deselect the fillet and leave you with only the wall selected in selection and for the floor geometries we'll go back in and select all the floors. Let's add ten thousandths for our walls and ten thousandths for the floors. We'll increase the cut tolerance to one thousandths. We'll also go to tool axis control and increase the max angle step to three. Go to linking and for clearance area we're going to use a cylinder and we're going to rotate that cylinder around the y-axis so for the through point, let's select this center point down here. That's going to be the center point of our imaginary cylinder around the y-axis. We'll do multi-cuts. Come to pattern layers. This is going to be your radial depth of cut. So we're going to use four passes at 20 thousandths per pass. Because I know that the wall here is tapered roughly 80 thousandths. For utility, make sure that replace rapid with feed is selected. We're using a fast feed rate. Top is selected and for coolant, we're going to turn our coolant off. And let's turn our through spindle air blow on. Hit OK. And now we can start finishing the part where we can use the same methods that we use to rough the part with. Thank y'all for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and leave us a comment below. And check out our online store for a great deal on tools that help support free education. Thank you all again and we'll see you next time.